Welcome, Defiant Ones. We finally got our second quality of life update for Dawn of Defiance. This quality of life update came along with a developer video with interviews for the development team to explain what some of the changes that they've made have come up and have come up with. Let's start with one of the two things that are very close and dear to my heart when it comes to survival games such as these. Building additions for each tier of the building system. This includes not only new building parts, but also decor items to help you liven up your builds and bases in the forgotten crossroads while you're on your journey to take on Hades. So let's take a quick look at some of these updates. Okay, so we're going to come down here. I'm just going to work in this space that I am working on right now. Uh, so what we're going to do is, let's see, some of these new updates. So decor-wise, we have a taxidermy for a pig. They've updated the bucks. So we have, we've always had this one, the bucks taxidermy. But we now also have... The uh, a doe taxiderm two doe taxidermy, one small doe, one small one big doe, one small doe. We have two uh, rabbit or hare taxidermy. I think this one is the funniest one of the bunch. It's absolutely hilarious to me. I think it's super cute. A big bunny with a carrot in his <laughs> with it. Then of course you have the wolf. So we now have a taxidermy at least one for each of the game animals that we uh, can hunt in the game. Now keep in mind, the cost for these are always the same. You always need a three star of whatever that uh, taxidermy is, whatever the game of that taxidermy is. You got the dough, you're gonna need some copper uh, nails and some lumber, of course. You got three hairs, because there's three hairs in there. You got uh, I think this one is a mistake for 200 hairs. Just a idea there. We'll see. I'm hoping it's not 200 hairs because, holy shaman, that's going to take a while to make. Okay. And then, of course, your one three-star uh, wolf. Some of the other items that they've added is a Greek-style daybed, which is awesome. Uh, pillows to liven up the builds, gives it a little more flavor. You could turn these into all that good stuff. Then of course they added uh, these curtains. So we can take this, instead of having our windows looking kind of bare, we can now take this and give us a little bit of, a little bit of, uh, little cleaner look uh, I, I think that is absolutely gorgeous I messed up on this first one but that's okay for demonstration purposes that works uh, they've also added a uh, a Greek style chair which is really cool uh, let's get out of here exit and we're gonna get rid of that hammer see if we can't sit in it though so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, and then we have, what else do we have that they've added? Ah, the archways. So, you know, we've always had these doors. Now we have decorative archways that we can put up, which I think is amazing because what, what it does with that is it can give us a little more... Uh, control and add some flavor to our builds gives them more more depth uh they've added a new angled fence so that we can put it up on our stairs that go up that's awesome what else did we get added in here uh these the wood they changed up the design on the wooden pillar or post rather uh, i think this you can make a very fantasy build with that. I think that is amazing. And remember, when we're with the one of the beauties of this building system is that it allows you to do a lot of crazy things. 
and of course more options for the fences and we have a new railing as well uh, so i i can't wait to dig more into this i think it's amazing uh, I love the fact that they are be paying attention to what the community wants and are doing their best to provide it. One other thing that I've noticed is when we were initially looking into, when we initially started playing this, we noticed that some of the hammers kind of looked the same. Okay, so they've now fixed that. The simple hammer no longer looks like the basic hammer which is a great help and differentiating between what you are doing, uh, which hammer you have. So you're not thinking you have the simple hammer when you have the basic hammer and you can't figure out why you don't have the wooden tier in there. It's kind of crazy how that happens. So they, they updated that. Uh, and what else did they, what else do we have in here? Let's take a deeper look here. Give me one second, guys. I think this is it. For the builds, of course, the stone. Oh, the decorative quarter wall for the stone. They've now added a new decorative quarter wall to where you have that, that nice gold outline on there. So that I think that's a beautiful addition as well. Uh, I believe that is everything now. Yep, that is everything. Now, the next thing they did, and I think you guys will agree i think is amazing the second it, part of this is creative mode that's right you heard me right creative mode they have added creative mode to dawn of defiance which i think is great the community has been asking for it so with creative mode it's not like your standard creative mode say for arc or uh, conan where you go into the uh back door menu and you type in a code what you're going to do is you're going to go into your into your world and you're going to go to rule setup right up here. With rule setup, you can you have more options here, disable crafting cost, unlock all recipes, disable durability and grant all movement abilities and then uh, disable building cost experimental. Okay? If you click and you turn on all four of these, this will essentially give you creative mode. Now, when I say it's not like the creative mode in other games where you can fly around endlessly, that's exactly what I mean. Not only do you have to go into the menu to get that creative mode rule set, but you also have to uh, keep in mind that your stamina is still affected within the game and you can still die. It's not a god mode. It is a creative mode to allow you to experiment with your builds instead of having to spend uh, untold hours and gathering those materials. I honestly think it is a great addition and I think they did a great job with this. These are not the only updates in this patch. For a complete list of all the updates and bug fixes, Please click on the link in the description below, which will take you to Steam for their complete patch notes, where you will also find a video with an interview with the art director and creative director for the game, as well as a virtual tour and interview with a fellow creator who has built an amazing Greek-inspired city in the Forgotten Crossroads. As you can see, we're going to go through some of these basic updates we've already gone through some of these uh the creative mode patches and then players can now interact with chess more quickly what that means is much like in shrouded or arc survival ascended where you can throw stuff in your dedicated storage boxes if you have like items in your personal inventory that you want to put in a box all you got to do is it's a one button click instead of having to move them over individually uh the several uh buildables and decorable items are put in there uh some of the improvements the jitter of the mouse uh, two, some two and three star, uh, fauna now give more resources. In other words, we don't have to just hunt the three star resources or three star, uh, taint, uh, game to get the added resources. We can get them from there as well. Uh, the bird feeder costs less. So basically they adjusted the cost and the resources given from certain items to help make it a little bit easier added iframes to dodge roll i'm not sure what that exactly means but we'll see 
Uh, oh, the simple hammer uh, mesh has been updated. That is awesome. That is That goes back to what I referred to earlier, where the simple hammer and the primitive hammer no longer look the same, which I think is a great help. And then, of course, if you scroll all the way down, all the bug fixes are there. Now, with that and how inclusive for the second week this patch notes are, to me, it shows how the devs have taken into account what all in the, in the community have been saying. This, for me, bodes well for the progression of this game. Okay, if a dev, if the devs aren't listening to the community, the game's not going to to improve. I have found that my interactions with the devs have been very responsible and very quick to respond and very respectful, which I think is amazing. If you want to be part of this community and you want to get more inspiration or get in contact with the devs or just be part of the experience of watching this game grow from the start, I highly encourage you joining the growing Discord community for uh, Dawn of Defiance in Discord. If this video was helpful and informative for you, please hit a like. And if you are not subscribed, subscribe. It is a great help to a small channel like mine. And I will do my best to keep you updated on all Dawn of Defiance news, as well as other survival game information and content. Take care and thanks for watching.